Hello, my Calculus BC students. This is my first attempt making a video for this using this Memeo, so please let me know how it goes. I am not using a microphone, I'm just using the microphone through the laptop, so if you have any trouble hearing this, uh, let me know in the comments and I will try to, try to do better next time. So, you asked me to see two of the homework problems worked out, number 16 and 20. So let's start with number 16. Okay, so we're going to start with the ratio test. That's going to be the unhook system. You don't have to multiply it out. You can, but you don't have to. We do limit they're all going to go to. What happens to this? Well, let's look at the powers of n. n times n squared is n cubed. n squared times n is n cubed. Right? So this just looks like n cubed over n cubed as n goes into the whole thing here. It's a 1. All right? So we take the limit um, using our rules like we've done before. If the degrees are the same, we look at the leading coefficients. 1 over 1 is 1. All we're left with is this, x to the x over 4. All right. So we want values that make that converge. That converge is when that is less than 1. Right. So now we solve for x to the of x, and we get f sub of x is less than 4. So this number is what I want. That is my radius of convergence. That's what I'm trying to find, the radius of convergence. One more time what this means. Okay, so previously you were given a series with numbers inside and you told whether that converged or diverged. Now we're given a series with an x. I want to know what values of x will make this series converge. Okay, so I want to find an interval of convergence. But before that, I have to find the radius of convergence. So look at our series here since it's just x at center at zero. So the radius of convergence means I can go four to the right or four to the left and get my interval. Um, you don't have to do all that. You can stop here. The interval convergence will come into the next section. But just to kind of clarify what this means. This series here is centered at zero. Okay. So if I were to take this and solve it, we get x is equal to 4 and negative 4, right? That's my interval of convergence. Now, later on, we have to do some things to check these endpoints, whether they're open or closed. But don't worry about that now. All I care about is this number right here. So that is what I'm finding, the radius of convergence. Saying if we go four in either direction from our center, the values in that interval will converge. Those values of x will make the series converge. Okay, that is what we're finding here with a radius of convergence. So that was uh, number 16. Okay, let's go to number 20. All right, and with number 20, I uh, mentioned before, when there's a four in front of the, the x, you have to factor that out. Now, you can actually do that at the beginning or at the end. Okay, I think I might have, when I showed you it, I maybe thought you had to do it at the beginning. Uh, you can, you don't have to. Uh, it might make the algebra easier if I say that for the end. Let me just say that for the end. So it's going to be n plus plus 1, which will get plus 5, and these are the magnitudes. 
careful. This is 2n plus 1. So it's 2 of the prime n plus 1 plus 1. Okay. Over plus 1. And the angle is So when we uh, multiply by that sign, it would simplify that. So we would say that. So what we're going to do here, we're going to just cube it down 2. So this one becomes 2n plus 2 plus 1, or 2n plus 3. So this is going to be 4 plus 5 raised to the 2n plus 3. Okay. Four x minus five. So what happens when I reduce this? Okay. Well, when we divide, we subtract, right? Two n plus three minus two n plus one would leave us with two left over. Or, or think about it. There's two n plus one of these cancels out with two s two n plus one here. Well, there's two more to get from two n plus three to two n plus one, right? These two numbers have a difference of two. So when I cancel these out, there's still two. All right, now we're going to take the limit. Is less than what? All right, now I want to solve this for x or for x minus um, the a, which we'll get to in a second. All right, so the square, I'm going to square root both sides. Okay. And I don't need to put the minus because I have some value in one direction either way. So I'm going to square both sides. So I'm still going to have x to the right of x minus 5 is less than 1 because it's going to work as well. So now do I need to factor out the 4? Now I want to factor out the 4. So the 4 times x minus 5 fourths is less than 1. So again, you could have done that at the beginning or at the end. But either way, you have to factor out the 4. So this series is centered at 5 fourths. Five fourths. This series is centered at five fourths. Okay. And then to solve for this, you divide by four. And there's your radius of convergence. That's my answer. So the radius of convergence is one fourth. Radius of convergence is one fourth. And the series is centered at five fourths. So if I want to find the interval convergence, I take the five fourths and I add one fourth and I subtract one fourth, and there is my interval. All right, that is how I find the radius of convergence. Okay, so uh, hopefully those two explanations helped you. Okay, and now if you had any questions about the earlier ones, go back and try those again. All right, and uh, please post any comments or email me if you have any further questions. Or right. and if that did help you clear it up, then please let me know that as well. Okay, I will post a video later uh, moving on to the next section, starting 10.5. So for now, just make sure you got all these homework problems done and you understand what we're doing. Thank you.